What's up, everybody? I am BK, BKBangers.com. Welcome to another video. Today's video, I want to revisit Impact XT. All right, last week, I released a video showing how to uh, use that use impact with the MPC and Taz MD pointed out to me that um instead of dragging the entire folder to a pad I should just drag one um, drum from the folder to a pad because I was having issues if you watch that video the folder when I pressed the pad, it was like there were eight kicks in the pad, in the folder. So when I dropped the entire folder, it was cycling through the kicks, and I kind of like shrugged it off because I, I, you know, I use Impact, but I don't use Impact. I was only um, testing it out because it was brand new to the Studio One Four platform, the XT version. And I wanted to see how I could work with it because it looked like they um, they improved it, which they did. But I was having a little bit of difficulties in that video. And I don't like giving out misinformation. That's the reason why I'm following up with this video, because I understand that a, a lot of you guys watch my videos and, you know, my information is valued. So I don't want to be labeled as giving false information. So I'm following it up with it because the homie Taz MD just he seen what <clears throat> I did wrong and pointed it out to me. Um, and when I tested it out, it worked. Studio One still has a couple of glitches that um, they need to figure out ASAP as far as using multiple VSTs with uh within studio one it's glitching out heavy um and that's off camera like if i don't have the camera if i have the camera going forget about it but if i have if i'm just normally producing it's glitching out and i'm not sure what's causing that because studio one 3.5 don't really do that so that's something for another video but we're going to jump on into uh, Studio One. And as you can see, I already have Impact already loaded. And I'm going to show you guys real quick. I already deleted those those um, presets that I created. So I'm going to go ahead and create one with you guys right now. The same ones that I did before, but I'm going to uh, create it from scratch. So this is the kick folder. And if I drag the whole kick folder in here, this velocity is going to light up. The layer mode for velocity, it'll light up. So hopefully I can undo it. Right? So you can see that it lit. Velocity is now lit up. Right? So command Z. It took impact all the way away. All right, let's see some. Yeah, it took it took impact all the way away. That's not what I wanted it to do, but that's cool. So instead of dropping the entire folder, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the first kick in the folder, drop it in. Now. It don't matter how hard I, I hit it, it's the same kick. And right here, I could scroll through. Right, and that's how, what I really want. So again, you could go ahead and you could highlight it. You could make it any color you want. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the snares. Take the first snare. So it's not doing that by me clicking it. I'm I'm 
hitting the cursor right here, the arrow to load the next sample while I'm tapping. All right, so I'll go ahead and color that as well. Next, I'll, um, I'll add some hi-hats. I'll color that as well. Next, I'll add the percussion. color that as well and there is a bonus folder in here that has some some stuff in here I'll add that up here and I'll just move this no it doesn't matter all right and I'll color that a different color because it's percussion And if you wanna if you wanna have the pad focus and change when you hit the pad, you gotta actually hit pad focus up here. And it's pretty much that simple. So then now again you could go and you can store preset, name the preset. Um what is this? Lo-fi drums three description lo-fi hit okay now it's here in your presets all right I'm not gonna go ahead and do another one for you guys I just this was just a follow-up for you because again I don't want to spread false information um I made a mistake by dropping the folder in the whole folder and that's not the way to go about doing it. You can do it that way, but just know that it'll be the layer mode rather than it being a uh, a one shot. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm not cooking up in this one, no. I just wanted to share that with you guys as a, um, a cleanup. All right, so do remember that music is life. It is our DNA. Keep banging. Peace, love, light. Until next time. Peace.